Hi everyone, here is Akta and welcome back on my YouTube channel and today I want to talk about the uh, talents in the game and to show you how much uh, marks you need in order to uh, clear it all to increase every mark here and every uh, talent for with the arena books here. So before we jump into the content, as always, if you enjoy it, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much. So as you can see here, I already uh, finished uh, to uh, push 20 everywhere for the red mark because I focused it first. I just need two more in effect resistance here, but I'm not going to uh, increase it yet because now I want to focus on the blue mark tower because I have uh, to increase a lot of stuff right here. The reason why I'm doing it is I finished the red mark. Uh, let me show you the team I was using. Uh, I was far floor 29 which is the best one to optimize your farm in my opinion so the the first goal in the game I think in my opinion is to try to reach to reach the highest stage you can in any tower of marks so you can optimize your farm and that what this is what I did on this uh, tower here so I'm f I farmed this one for maybe um, around almost two months now. So let me show you the team I, I used. So I used Catherine. Um, I didn't have all exclusives before. I was farming it with only a Catherine exclusive 2 before. I had a Lucifer with exclusive 3 in order to reach this stage right here. Uh, Sigmund without exclusive, Hoff without exclusive and Wim a full exclusive. So this one, in my opinion, the red one is the, more, the most accessible one to farm. If you have a hero to remove the shield for, from the boss on floor 28. Uh, I managed to beat the floor 24 without any uh, buff remover uh, I, because my Lucifer was uh, hitting hard to the shield. Uh, in my opinion, you need a, a Lucifer with uh, two exclusives only in order to beat uh, this boss without any buff remover because if you have enough stats, you will hit through the shield, uh, deal a lot of damage, destroy the shield. I mean, thanks to the counter attack of Catherine, this is enough because with the uh, uh, exclusive 2 of uh, Lucifer, you will get in damage increase on his basic attack. And so, thanks to the counter attack of Catherine, you will deal a lot of damage on this boss. So, let me uh, show you a sheet I made for uh, in order to show you some stuff uh, here. So, let me push myself to the right right here okay let me zoom in so you can see maybe better let me zoom again so as you can see here uh, this is how many um, marks you need to uh, increase one level so uh, on the beginning uh, from 1 to 10 you need 5 then 10 then 15 then 20 then 25 etc and uh, the highest amount you need in order to increase to uh, level 20 any uh, talent you need 300 marks uh, and plus all these marks before and then it increases a lot and this is why I want to switch uh, the, the tower now the, because uh, it is too much so I want to reach uh, uh, high stats uh, here soon so it doesn't make sense in my opinion then you have uh, there the maximum stats you can get in uh, the, the talents so if you increase everything from 1 to level 10, you can get 3% crit rate, 4% crit damage, 3% effect hit, effect res, attack rate, defense rate, HP rate, speed rate, 
at attack flat, uh, defense flat, HP flat, uh, 1000 and 30 speed. If you increase everything to 20, uh, you will get 6% everywhere, 8% crit damage, 2000 attack, def, HP and 60 speed. In my opinion, this is enough. You don't need to, uh, to try to reach uh, the highest uh, amount here. The reason why uh, it is because if you form only the stage 29, uh, this is what I I'm doing current, currently in order to in, to max uh, one uh, talent from one level one to level ten, you will need a half a day. Okay, this is not uh, huge. If you want to max it from eleven to twenty, you will have to. Um, wait five days in order to max only one talent to 20. This is a lot. If you want to max one talent to 30, you will have to do um, 114 runs on stage 29. In, uh, it will take 19 days in order to max only one talent. If you want to max all the talents from one mark forming only the stage 29 it will take 228 days almost so this is seven months something like it seven months to max only a one tower uh, this is not huge. Th this is huge. Sorry. This is huge. If you want to max every uh, talent of one mark to 20 it will take two months that means if you max all talents to 20 in every mark, you, it will take normally uh, two, four, eight months. Eight months, okay? So every two months, maybe switch your uh, mark as I did for me. And now I'm farming, forming the blue one, so it will take maybe 50 days now because uh, I increased my stats a bit. 50 days, and then I will maybe switch to the force mark or to uh, the um, green one, depending on the heroes I will have. If you are able to form the stage 30 uh, in auto, uh, I, I can do this with Hezonja on my beta account, but at the moment I am far away to do it on my global account because uh, only Hezonja is a super, a super great he hero and also in this team I am using um, Nordak. Uh, who can bring an, a damage immunity to the team and also I can use Focus who can do the same so this is a, a really really strong team and also I have Ben Austin with Hezonja so it's a super super strong team maybe one of the best in the game at the moment so if you farm only stage 30 it will take 17 days in order to max one talent only and 200 days 205 days in order to max every uh, talent from one mark so this is the reason why i'm focusing one tower uh, to 20 then a second tower etc uh, then if you switch to uh, the arena let me uh, zoom a bit, okay, but I'm hiding a bit uh, the stats here, but I will move myself. Okay, so for the arena, it, ta it takes uh, the same amount of books as of marks uh, previously. Uh, if you form uh, the classic arena uh, in king tier, you will get uh, four, uh, 12 books. So if uh, I imagine I get a four in every uh, classes, uh, attacker, defensor and support, uh, in order to max uh, one talent to, uh, from 11 to 10 to 20, you will need to, uh, d to win 525 times. If you want to max out one talent from 20 to 30, you will have to win 2,050 times. If you want to max every talent in the uh, arena, um, arena talents, you will have to do a total of 24,600 fights, wins. In, uh, ima imagine if you are a king tier, I, I, I want to say. So this is a huge, this is a big amount. So now I'm far away from it. This is why I want to do the exact same thing as I do for the mark. For the marks, I want to uh, reach 20 on every um, 
on every talent for the arena and when I will be done with this I will focus on uh, maybe one particular stat before others. So if we have a look to the um, to the stats we can get uh, the highest amount of stats we can get uh, we can get an up to 6% uh, here effect resistance damage resistance uh, this is a unique buff damage resistance though only defensor can have it I think it lowers the damage we take uh, then 10% defense rate 10% HP rate 6% attack uh, 2000 defense 20k HP and 60 speed I think this is enough 20 max everything to 20 is great you can have a lot of stats from here so you don't need to uh, focus one in particular to uh, 30 um, even the speed it's only 30 speed bonus here so this is not uh, huge for the attackers you have almost the same but for crit rate crit damage six percent eight percent a six percent effect hit six percent attack rate two thousand attack two thousand defense and hp and 60 speed it's the same amount of speed uh, for defensors and attackers and let me move myself to the left okay and now you have for the supports effect hit six percent here eight percent here healing effect six percent hp rate def uh, speed rate yeah you have bonus in speed and you have also 2000 attack defense and hp flat and 60 speed it, this is enough but sometimes the people like to increase a more uh, speed rate and speed before for the support because you can get an increase in three percent speed rate and 30 speed and for the supports it can be nice because you have catherine and you want your catherine to be uh, fa the fastest the fastest as possible you have also a sindo and she is a support so you want to mark the speed first on them because you don't really need effect heat uh, healing effect is nice but not mandatory so maybe some uh, hp rate you don't need attack so uh, maybe probably you can increase it this way let me go back on my uh, game so I can show you how I am doing at the moment uh, for the class talents as you can see right here I never increased more than 10 for the attack I focused first a bit of H uh, speed on my uh, defensors but before I increased to 24, I decided to increase this one first uh, to uh, 20, then the defense, then the, uh, the HP, and now I am focusing to 20, the defense here. I'm going to increase this, the, the resistance to 20, and then I will increase maybe the speed to 30, and then the damage resistance here, etc., the HP and defense. Uh, I prefer increasing the HP now uh, for one reason. Uh, enemies, uh, if you fight in the classic arena, you will get 50% HP bonus. That means the higher your base HP on your heroes, the better for the classic arena. You will be tankier using this. So this is the reason for every uh, classes here. So first of all, if you want to increase uh, tankiness, the tankiness of your heroes, uh, focus first the HP. Because defense, you can lower the defense of enemies, and if you lower the defense, uh, you can hit really hard on them, but you cannot lower the maximum HP they have, so this is the reason why I'm focusing HP first. So, that was all for the video, I hope you enjoyed it, if it's the case, as usual, please like, comment and subscribe and then see you in the next one. Bye bye! Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.